Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of a new Trekkie. My five year mission to search out Star Trek media, to seek out our fans and merchandise, to boldly go where no fan has gone before. Greetings and sightings, that's what doing. So today, looking at the episode for uh, Star Trek, we're looking at the episode of Star Trek Phase 2, after looking at the episode 9 of Star Trek Phase 2, in this case, Mine Sifter. <laughs> Tortured isomet. What, but what was the plot of it? Well, a tortured and insomniac Captain Kirk is dumped into Earth's past by the Klingons, where he ends up in a 1950s mental institution. Meanwhile, a shattered Enterprise crew tries to survive with its new captain, Mr. Spock. So this episode is the first episode that would have Brian Gross as the new Captain Kirk. But uh, one thing that I think is pretty cool is the fact that James Call. Collie, who previously played Captain Kirk, actually, um, he was known as an Elvis impersonator, so he actually is, like, as a little cameo, he just, like, say, hey, don't worry about him, he's just an Elvis impersonator. So I feel like it's a nice little nod to him playing that, and it's also a pretty cool nod in the fact, like, say, hey, there goes our, our past Kirk, giving hit our new Kirk a good... Hey, man! Ain't you a colonel or something? I've been watching you. It there you are. Come on. You're a colonel. I know you are. Listen, you can help me get out of this place. I know you can. Don't be cruel to me. I'm the ghost. Don't worry about that guy. He's been here forever. He thinks he's Elvis. And honestly, I gotta say this episode was honestly pretty good. There are moments where I feel like the episode can be rather dramatic. Whether it is moments where um, the crew is just missing... Uh, Kirk and all that um and I do think the moments when we have like Kirk at the mental ward it kind of reminds me of like um like he's in a mental hospital and like the doctor is trying to say you're crazy and all that and he basically they're trying to like, say hey we're gonna try and make sure you're uh good to go like in a lot of times and like, you know, TV shows and other things, when they have episodes that deal with, like, um, psychiatric wars and all that, they try to have orderlies that are just, like, say, nah, 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 we gotta make sure you're okay, and all that. Um, and I gotta say, I feel like this episode, like, I feel like this episode does a pretty great job with the fact that you know, like, an original TOS, like, you know, Spock and Bones, they would always be, you know, like, say, you know, like, you know, you're a great guy, you're a good friend, but we're gonna argue and all that. And I like the fact they keep that, like, a little bit of, um, idea. That the actor Jeff Bond, he does a good job as a new actor for, um, Bones. I especially think that because in the fact we have like an older actor play as Bones. What would you say? Vulcans do not indulge in affection. But I would say I respect you. I respect you, Captain. And he does a pretty good job, I think. And honestly, I think the actress that plays Uhura, in this case Jasmine Pierce, she does a great job, especially like when she's having like a moment where she's singing Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace how sweet the sound 
that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. And honestly, I don't think there was like moments in the original TOS where um, Michelle Nichols had moments where she got to sing. Well, she got to sing in one of the episode Charlie X. But honestly, I like looking back at it, I feel like um, like they the um. TOS wasn't really able to give um, Michelle Nichols like many times where she could flex her muscles acting wise. That's just how I feel. Um, and I mean, it's always good when you're able to have like a new show to flesh out a character as well. But honestly, what do y'all think of this episode in the case of Mind Shifter? I think it's actually pretty entertaining. It actually started off as a, you know, fan fiction. Spock, I don't know what else to say except thank you. That is unnecessary, sir. I don't think so. You saved history. You saved the Federation and you saved me. You're being prideful, Mr. Spock. Unlikely. Well, thank you for indulging in my human sentiment. I'm tempted to make a joke about, um... Another Czech novel, but I'm not gonna do that. But, what do y'all think of these, this episode? See you later.